hi guys welcome back in this video i'm going to discuss a blighted ovum this is a continuation on our topic of a missed miscarriage so what is a blighted ovum a blighted ovum is a gestational sac that has developed without an embryo it's also known as an embryonic pregnancy as you can see in the diagram here this is the uterus inside the uterus you have an empty gestational sac in normal circumstances there should be a developing embryo in here but in this situation there's no embryo what are the clinical features of a blighted ovum you can have two scenarios the typical presentation is where a patient complains of a missed period and when you do a pregnancy test it comes out positive ultrasound confirms a blighted ovum there will be a gestational sac but without an embryo but if the gestational age is less than eight weeks remember we said you repeat the ultrasound after two weeks to confirm if it indeed is a blighted ovum the management of a blighted ovum is the same as for a missed abortion now the scenario number two where you have an atypical presentation you have a missed period a positive pregnancy test but ultrasound shows an empty non-gravid uterus remember that in a blighted ovum ultrasound should show you a gestational sac but with no embryo so in this scenario where there's an empty non-gravid uterus your mind starts racing is it an ectopic pregnancy calm down if the patient has no signs and symptoms of an ectopic pregnancy you can safely repeat the ultrasound in two to four weeks and if it still shows an empty non-gravid uterus despite another positive pregnancy test you should now start asking yourself questions so it's not all the time that it's an ectopic pregnancy when an ultrasound has shown you that there's an empty non-gravid uterus i know the finding should have been an empty gestational sac without an embryo so there are three explanations to this the miscarriage of the blighted ovum occurred so early in pregnancy that the patient never even realized that she was pregnant and miscarried two it could have been a cervical miscarriage a cervical miscarriage happens when there's no cervical dilatation so the abortus the expelled formation is stuck between the internal cervical os and the external cervical os the third explanation is that there was reabsorption of the gestational sac so how do you manage this atypical presentation of a blighted ovum it's simple conservative management you don't do anything however you do a serial hcg test which will show a reduction over time and become eventually negative or a negative pregnancy test over time this comes to the end of our discussion on a blighted ovum in the next video i'm going to discuss septic miscarriage kindly don't forget to subscribe thank you